Hey, what's up guys? So today's video, we're going to be talking about my first real obsession, my first passion, if you will, which for me was skateboarding. And we're also going to be talking about some of the things that I feel like I learned from skateboarding that I still hold close to me to this day. Now, from the time I was about 10 till 20, all I wanted to do was skateboard. It is what my life constellated around. I would really, really spend five to six hours every day skateboarding. And I really felt confident in what I can do on a skateboard, so much so that I thought with enough exposure, people would recognize me and have interest and then maybe sponsor me. I really thought that if I joined contests or dropped enough video parts on the internet, that I'd get people coming my way. Um, and it was crazy because it was my, I would never had an obsession like it. I did sports growing up. I played baseball. I've done football. I did track and field. That was what I did from like the time I was six to about 18. Like I was an athletic kid growing up, but what I really enjoyed doing and spent most of my time doing was skateboarding. And, uh, if I wasn't physically on my board, I would be with in my room playing video games, skateboarding video games. And if I wasn't playing video games, skateboarding video games, I would be probably reading like Thrasher magazine or I would be like playing with tech decks or I'd be like doing something skateboarding related. It's crazy. I just, I became hooked. And I think what did it for me was the freedom I felt on a skateboard that I didn't really feel in these conventional sports like baseball or football where like you needed a uniform, you needed a team to play. There was a time and place that you met in order to do it. When I was on my skateboard, I felt free. I felt like I can do it at the drop of a hat. I didn't need to wear a uniform. I can do it by myself. I can go anywhere, anytime. It didn't matter. And it became very unique because every skateboarder has their own unique style. And it's something that you kind of take pride in. You know, it's your own style of moving around on the board, doing what you do on a board. And it doesn't have to be like anyone else's style. It doesn't have to have some conventional form. It can be however you want it to be. And I felt, it felt very artistic to me. I, I loved that aesthetic of it. It was just phenomenal. That's, I think that's what did it for me, that sense of freedom. And uh, one of the things that I feel like a lot of people don't see from the outside when you're looking at a skateboarder is the amount of time that they put into learning new tricks and learning new things. It doesn't come after a day's worth of work. It comes after thousands of attempts on the same trick, doing it over and over and over. And there's a majority of the attempts that a skateboarder does throughout the day where they're unsuccessful. They're not lands. They're not what they set out to have happen. And I think that one of the things that skateboarding taught me that proved so valuable was the recognition that you're not going to get what you want on the first few tries or even the first hundred tries. It may come after hours and hours and hours of hours of putting in time to do it. It's just something that happens the more, it's like the more you do it, the better you get. And that was something that I recognized from skateboarding because I was never able to do what I wanted to do quickly. It always came after putting in so many hours of effort and so many hours of practice that it was just a, it was just the thing I knew. Every time I got into learning something new, I knew that it wasn't going to be instant. I knew it wasn't going to be that day. I knew it was going to come after repetition, practicing. I knew it was going to come after that commitment, that time you have to put into learning something new. And walking away from skateboarding, I think one of the big things I took away was that lesson that the more you do something, the better you get at it and not to get discouraged when things don't work out for the first few times whenever you try something new. Because whenever you try something new, it doesn't matter what it is, you're never going to do it the way you want to do it on the first try. It's not going to happen, not even the first few tries. It may take X amount of tries, but eventually, with enough practice, you're going to get to do what you want to do. And I think that that has been such a reassuring lesson in the back of my head as I transitioned from a person who had this 
skateboarding identity to an academic identity where I was definitely, you know, putting my feet into new water. I, I really had to hold on tight to that lesson that this isn't going to come right now, but if I invest the time into this and mentally grapple with it eventually and inevitably, I'll come to a, um, just a, an understanding that I feel comfortable with, you know, a, an understanding that I am happy with. Um, and that's, that's such an uncommon source of, uh, a lesson, you know, skateboarding, I feel like that would be the last place anyone would guess a, a valuable lesson would come from. But for me, that has, that has been the place where I, I took away that great lesson. And it's proved indispensable in everything that I've done going forward. And it's just been a great thing to, uh, to, to keep in mind as you're trying anything new, that you're not going to get it for the first time. But with enough practice, you will. Thank you guys for watching my video.